But Mizuki end. Um, so let's see. There's Mizuki's ending. That was Ota's ending. Um, it's split here, and we got locked on the green route. If we go here, it's locked. We finished red, finished yellow. Um, just the next place it splits is here, day two Saturday, Katai. We're gonna finish sinking in the pain a different way. Well, I guess let's do it then. We'll pay attention to where the um, Somnium loaded chart splits on the side. I'll just make a different choice. I hope it still has the check marks because I do not remember how to finish the Somnium. Um, I paid us. Let's pull this out. Okay. So it splits here, even. Remove the bird cage, blow the bird cage away. Okay, so we did blow the left bird cage, so we'll do this one. This will be easy. Glad to hear it. This will be easy. What? But it was so heavy. Okay, it just floated away. Bird cage is really like a episode. Like you can lead me. But nothing happened. Oh? What is this? It's a deflated balloon. I guess it's blow it up. A deflated Agent rubber. I told you, minutes. please call it a balloon. What are you getting so worked up about? Didn't call them rubbers, Iba. Um, I think you didn't normally blow up balloons, so we'll try that. Understood. It's huge. I wish your boobs were that big. Are you serious? Those are obscenely large for a human. Well, they I are. suppose I am not technically human. And that you aren't. Date, please be quiet. Oh, there it goes. Floating away into the great beyond. Never to be seen again. Oh, there goes the birdcage. <laughs> Up and away. Able to get out? Perhaps the balloon was the key. I remember now a story I heard from Mizuki a while back. One time, when Mizuki was just a little girl, Shoko bought her a balloon. It was one of the nice healing ones, but the string slipped through her hand. The balloon sailed up into the sky. Shoko snapped. She scolded Mizuki for hours over a balloon. When Mizuki put the balloons inside the bird cage. That way they can never fly away again. But I guess I wouldn't. I made her read with a painful memory. Right. Now that the birdcage is off, let's get Masuki. Do you not see the horses spinning at hurricane speeds? Fine, I will. You can go in, right? But I cannot stop time while I'm moving. Oh, right. Guess we gotta figure out how to stop it from spinning. I think that spinning band ahead has something to do with it. You know, really, as this game goes on. It's, I'm the more than convinced that Shoko's just a terrible person. Let's kick it. All right. Yeah. What oh. is this? Merry-go-rounds can fly. Merry-go-rounds can fly. Over there. Oh, a bunch of ice. And a body. Iris. Oh. Why? Hey, yeah, Why Iris. is Iris? She appears to be frozen. What the, the hell is going on? Too. 
What is this? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Oh. Why do you never keep quiet? Is this fun for you? Giving your mother a hard time? That hurts! That hurts! Please stop! I'm sorry! Jesus Christ, Shoko. Why are you here? No, I'm pretty sure everything you're doing is making you into the bad guy. What's that look, huh? Ow! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! It's all your fault. Once you, again, Shogo just continues you, to be the worst person. I wish you had never been born! I wish you hadn't, Shogo. The other voice is likely. Damn. What's going on here? Poor Mizuki, man. Poor Mizuki. I'm a lookout. What? Oh, hey, the merry go rounds back. I was about to become a pancake. Good thing this isn't a bed and breakfast. That frozen iris does intrigue yeah. me. But Mizuki first. Let's get to Mizuki while the merry go round is stopped. Was Iba sitting in the middle there? Like, oh, there's two of her. It's Mizuki. Um, let us encourage her. But why? It's motivational. A lot of I suppose I will give it a try. Hey, stop moping Jesus. around! Stand up and get out here! Date. Guess it didn't work. I don't think it works for those companies either. Yeah, you're right. It's Mizuki. Um, speak kindly. Yeah, there we go. Mizuki, can you hear me? We will protect you, Mizuki. We will always be there for you. So, it's all right now. Hey, you know, not necessarily you what you want to hear, Mizuki, but you know, Shoko's gone. She can't do anything Maybe anymore. she needs to hear her mother's voice. Is like a phone? A phone ringing? Where... Where's it coming from? Date, don't! You can't stay any longer! Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Day two Saturday. Keep that. Keep that. Mizuki, wake up. Are you okay? What's the matter, Mizuki? Cat got your tongue? Mizuki. 
Didn't work. She hasn't been healed. She's still traumatized. That would be too after that dream. Iba, call Iris's phone. It's urgent. Why the rush? Please, just call. Hello? This is Konami Tate from the MPD. I met you earlier today. I oh, you're so okay. loud, Iris. Is something wrong? Where are you right now? Um, I'm at home. Okay, don't go anywhere. Lock the door and stay at home. You tell me why? Who cares why? This is a direct order from the police. You mean a personal order? Okay. But if I do, will you play Shovel Forge with me tomorrow? No. Then go on a date with me. A date? If you promise I think that's me appropriate, Iris. I'll stay home and not say a peep. If you don't promise me, then... I'll wander around the city dragging a heavy suitcase. All right. Understood. Understood? Great. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Fine. Just don't go outside, okay? If anything happens, call me immediately. My number is... I have it in my history. See ya! What was that? A phone call? It's nothing. Um, well, I don't think asking Mizuki anything's gonna help. Peter, what do you think? Ah, the corpse you saw in Samyu. You're wondering if that was some kind of vision of the future. Yeah, that's right. Well, let's see. As a man of science, I don't believe in such things. Prophecies and the like. However, mm -hmm. if it was a prophecy, I would suggest the girl wear some kind of metal plate. Huh? You saw her. She was stabbed countless times in the back. She, she was. Use some stab proof armor or something. <laughs> I don't think Dante likes that answer. <laughs> Just uh, indulging in the fantasy of real life prophecies. <laughs> Don't mind me. Right. Anyway, prophecies are simply not possible. True. You see? Um, about the ringtone I heard in Somnium. I know about the ringtone you heard, but I couldn't tell where it was coming from. Did Mizuki actually hear that? Or was it just a dream? Or her imagination? That's what I'm trying to find out. Can you analyze the sound or something? Unfortunately not. I don't really know what that would do, though. It's just like, this is what this exact ringtone was. Good luck finding one of the millions of people that use this same ringtone. Um, about Somnium. In a normal dream, the person experiencing the dream cannot remove themselves from it. Dreams are first-person experiences. However, the circumstances are slightly different during a sink. The sinker dives into the subject's mind and experiences their subconscious thoughts. But this dream is experienced as an observer, as though you were watching a play. The subject is the author, director, and actor. The sinker is merely the audience. I see. Uh, what about you, Shizune? Do you believe prophetic dreams? Where is this coming or from? murdering... Oh, I see. This is about the body you saw in Mizuki Samyum. Yes, that body. Her name is Iris Sagan. A lot the unlike the body to of Sosajima. You can... How do you know that? Iba told me. It is one of my duties to deliver regular investigation reports. I'm about prophetic dreams. Prophecies, huh? That's why you called Iris. But, Date, come on. I know. A dream is just a dream. Yep. It doesn't necessarily have anything to do with reality. But still, 
I just have this gut feeling. Date, are you alright? Perhaps the sink is causing negative side effects. Perhaps. I hope that's all it is. But perhaps not. I'm about Mizuki's Zephonia. It didn't go well. It sure did. But it's not all bad. The sink wasn't a total waste of time. We found clues. Clues? Right. I don't know, I think a witness we can speak to would probably be the bigger clue, but uh, about what I saw in Somnium. No need to report specifics. Friends with Zuki. We saw it all from here in the control room. What the sinker sees in Somnium is projected here, remember? We've got it all recorded. <laughs> Isn't it incredible? I invented it. Good. So we know about everything you saw. The phone, the frozen corpse. Here we go. Uh, about the ringtone I heard in Somnium. Boss, I heard a ringtone in Mizuki's Somnium. I know. Sorry, Date, that was me. My phone was going But I couldn't tell where silence. it was coming from. Yeah. I don't even know if it's real or something Mizuki invented. But if Mizuki really did hear that ringtone... Then there must have been a phone somewhere on site. Did CSI report anything like that? No, nothing. They searched the site, but didn't find a single thing. Mizuki will try to talk to you. Uh, bad Iris is Bobby. Mizuki, I saw something strange in your dream. Iris, she was frozen. She was dead. What was that? Tell me, Mizuki, please. Mizuki, you know you're already traumatized. Date, there is no point in for her. Her. Tell me more about it. Mizuki's aphonia has not healed. Mizuki, are you okay? Are you okay, Mizuki? Uh, about the ringtone I heard in some name. Hey, Mizuki, tell me something. In your dream world, I heard a phone ring. Did you hear that somewhere? Or did you just imagine it? Yeah. Date, there's no point talking to her. You couldn't heal her. Her symptoms haven't improved. They She'll sure be sent back to the hospital. Maybe the Come doctors on. can help her. How about the Nile message? Mizuki, I have to ask you. You got a Nile message yesterday. And then you went to Bloom Park. Who sent you the message? I checked her phone, but the history was white. I am you trying to identify the Dante if she now, can't but it will take speak, some time. you know, Iphonia and all that. Um, about the ice pick? Mizuki. When we found you at the merry-go-round, you were holding the ice pick. I'm not accusing you of anything. I trust you. I just want to know why you were holding it. I'm not accusing you, Mizuki. Answer me, but Mizuki. you were holding the murder weapon. So it could Dante, have been you. please. Yelling at her is counterproductive. You don't know the computer. Have you tried Damn it? it? Yeah, she does look pretty trained. Uh, boss, give me a summary. I think I'll go to Bloom Park again. Looking for the phone? It might be there. It might not. I just want to be sure. Take care of Mizuki, okay? Yeah. Leave it to me. Oh, well, I guess we'll go to Bone Park. Now the news. Yesterday night, the body of Shoko Nadami was found. Her body was recovered from the now defunct Bloom Park in the Kawasaki district. Autopsy reports revealed that her time of death was roughly 5 p.m. last afternoon. Police have determined that the victim was killed elsewhere and then brought to Bloom Park to be put on display. The MPD has expanded the scope of their investigation and are encouraging anyone with any information to come forward. In other news, at 6.10 p.m. today, on the outer circle of the Capital City Highway in Minato District, Tokyo, a traffic collision occurred involving five cars and at least one truck. 
As a result of the pileup, one man was sent to the hospital unconscious in critical condition. Jeez. Six other individuals were treated for minor injuries. MPD has arrested the driver of the truck suspected to be the cause of the accident for negligence. The investigation is ongoing. Dante and I had nothing to say. Try to wind that scene up for you. Just oh, oh. close enough. Ivan, right, what are you doing here? Who are you? Wait, are you a ghost? Idiot! It's me. Who are you? Me? It's me. Who? Me who? I said me. But are you a ghost? I'm not a ghost. Then. I'm... Maybe. But why? What are you doing here? I just thought I would project myself. You seem lonely. How are you doing this? I am overlaying the image your left eye processes with augmented reality. You can't see me through your right eye. Only your left. You if I close my left eye, I can see you just fine. Mission. You do realize I do that all the time, right? Um, let's see... About the ringtone we heard. It was then. somewhere around here, right? Where I heard the phone ring. Affirmative. The source can't be far. The phone must be nearby. I do not know if it actually exists. Dreams consist of memories. But that does not mean that they perfectly mirror reality. In fact, it is more common that what occurs in dreams is distorted. For example, the events witnessed in the last Somnium were absurd exaggerated or otherwise warped clearly they do not represent exactly what happened in reality i don't know if you've seen boom park that well. could have been what happened place is a dump mizuki didn't necessarily hear it i understand that but it's our only lead um about your appearance come to think of it you look kind of like you do when you're insomnia what's that about what do you mean you don't usually look like that. You have a Somnium form and another form. Oh, this? Yeah, the hamster. Yes, that. Why are you doing this now? I was bored last night, so... Huh? I thought you would like it. Why would I like it? answers the question. Can well, AI speak bored? I did attempt to shape myself to your preference. If you could do that, change it. Be Reika from Tiefblau. I will not. Why not? Because I won't. Uh, how do you appear to me? I am connected to your brain via artificial nerve. I am part yes. of your working brain. Our minds are one. During right. the sync, when the data that constitutes your ego is transferred, some of my main programming is also transferred. E. That is why I appear in Somnium. Do I even need to explain this sort of thing to you? I have experienced sinking many times with you. Although it is true that I have never appeared to you in this form. Anything catch your eye? As I eye? mentioned earlier, uh. I cannot say for certain if there was a phone here. However, if there is, it must be well hidden. CSI has already searched the area thoroughly, but they did not discover anything. See. Well hidden, huh? Maybe a place you can't see with the naked eye. What about this horse? Look at that. It appears to be a smartphone. Smart. I knew it was in the horse. Don't lie. You doubted me. So how do I get it out? I cannot find any weaknesses or seams in the horse's body. The horse's neck does not detach either. There must be some hole or something. It really seems one. like a design flaw if you have this thing Where? It's just a hollow cavity. I might be able to fit inside. Like that. One moment. Rainwater and stuff gets out in there. Oh, 
animal that's in there? Like, not even there. Yes. Good job, Iva. We have a smartphone in the clue list now. Iba, who owned this phone? The number is. Iba, the number. The result came back quickly. This is a rental phone. A rental? The owner is unknown. It is registered under a false identity. Come on. Date, look at the device history. It's gone. No outgoing call history. What about the incoming history? Only one call. 9.02 p.m. yesterday. Mizuki and Oto discovered the corpse at approximately 9 p.m. Mizuki must have heard this phone. That would connect to what we experienced in Somnium. Who is the caller? Their name isn't displayed. The number isn't in their contacts. In fact, there are no contacts. No numbers at all. Numbers, Mason. What do they mean? I don't have no email addresses or browsing history that could be a clue either. Just the one clue. The call at 9.02 p.m. I got able to look at the, the number. This number is also from a rental phone. No owner is registered. Oh. What happened? The battery died. The screen turned off. Hmm. Well, I, mean, I guess we can always just go back to Abyss and charge it and look into it there. Iva, remember the number I just gave you? Of course. Call it. Reconnected. Hmm. Uh, my name is Konami Date. I'm with the Metropolitan Police Department. Date, why you wouldn't you idiot? lie? They hung up. Oh, you think so? What kind of low IQ ignoramus calls a suspicious number and says they are from the police? I couldn't help it. I wasn't ready. I, I just said the first thing that came into my head. You told me to call. I didn't think it would work. Disappointing. There is no other word for it. Seriously, Dottie, come on. Iba, can call it, you again? call it again? I'll be ready this time, I swear. Are you sure? Yeah, trust me. The number you have dialed is no longer in service. Damn, call deny. Call deny? Yeah, call deny. Oh, the thing Reka from the Cabaret Club did to your number. Damn, you remember that? I mean, Iba does have a perfect memory. Um, call Reka. What? Why? I want to hear her voice. She put you on call deny. Can't you try from another line? I can, but I won't. Use Come a payphone Iba. if you want to call her. I don't have my own phone. As long as I'm within range, I can use Iba to make any call I need to. Whether it's a traditional line or an aisle message, I can have Iba help me. Iba's connected by mine wirelessly as well. So even when she's outside of my eyes, I can, I can talk normally. Cell tower to that connect to. Shinjuku. That's a wide range. Can you tell if they called from a smartphone? They did. I can tell from the number. Does it have GPS? The phone is likely capable of that function, but it has been disabled. The power mm. also appears to be off. I cannot connect from any line, because you blew it. <sighs> um, should we go to Shinjuku? There would be no point to that now. The recipient is alerted to our presence and likely on the move. Right. Yeah, that's true. Uh, who is the person that we called this mysterious person? Probably someone involved in the incident. They hung up as soon as they heard you mention the police, then refused further incoming calls. That behavior is at the very least suspicious. Who it is. Why was the phone in the horse? Unknown, but it does appear to be deliberate. Did the culprit do this, or did someone else? And for what specific purpose? I don't know, it would be pretty hard to accidentally put that phone in the horse. So, I would assume it was deliberate. 
Iba, let's get going. There's nothing more here. Where are we going? Iris's house? Yeah, I'm curious. About your prophecy? Absurd. It was nothing. Let's hope so. I was sitting on the horse's head. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll go see Iris.